Here's your GSV is called. What does the Bible say about moons? And I need to remake this video because I deleted it by accident. Okay? Okay. So I'll show you what the moons are. So this is Earth's moon that we know. Now what could a, now which moon? Now, what about this one? This moon here. Enceladus. Well, I believe it's a moon. It's a Enceladus is a Take a look. Okay, so it sounds this is a moon of Saturn. Okay, that's what it is. Now, Ganymede. The next one. So Enceladus is the sixth largest moon of Saturn. It has about 500 kilometers of diameter and has 10th largest of Saturn's largest moon, Titan. Okay, Enceladus is covered by ice bodies of solar system. Okay, so that's what Enceladus is. Now, what about Ganymede? Now, next one is Ganymede. And Ganymede is the uh, is the moon of Jupiter. Yeah, yeah. Right here, this is a satellite of Jupiter. It's the largest and massive of the most moons, and makes the ninth largest object of the solar system, and it's the largest of the central hemisphere. So. The moon called Ganymede is even larger than the planet Mercury. Now, the next moon is called Trident. Now, Trident is the moon of Neptune. Trident is the largest natural satellite of the of the planet Neptune. The first Antonian moon, moon to be discovered on a, in October 10, 1846, by English astronomer Lasso. It is only a large moon of system that it's retrograde in orbit, in orbit that's direction, the opposite of planet's rotation. Yeah, and it's getting, and I heard it and I found out it's getting closer to Neptune. So. Now the next moon is, the next moon over here, now the next moon over here is called Io. Okay, Io, or Jupiter 1, is the airmost and third largest of the four galleon moons of the planet Jupiter. Yeah, and that's why, that's why and that is why um, the moon called Io has a bunch of volcanoes as well. Now, the next one's called, the next one's called Coles. Calesto, and it's another, and it's called Calesto Jupiter 5. It's the second largest moon Jupiter after Ganymede. It's the largest moon of the solar system after Ganymede, and it's the second largest moon Titan. Largest solar system, and it may not be so uh, I'm doing it, but Galileo says it's by 610 by Galileo Galilei. So that's what Calesto is. Another moon of Jupiter. Now the next one is Titan. Now, Titan is the largest moon of Saturn. It's the second largest satellite of our solar system. It's the only moon known and has a dense atmosphere. It's the only known object in space other than Earth that has a clear evidence of its bodies. So, this liquid has been found. Okay, that's what Titan is right here. Now, Titan. And it's a Saturn three. It's a midnight moon of Saturn. Was it's a So that's what Titheus is. It's the 
It's a moon of it's a moon of, it's another moon of, it's a moon of Saturn. Now the next moon we're looking at is Europa. I know it's it's a it's also yeah and I know and, and also Europa is also is also Spanish for the word Europe. But I'm talking about moon called Europa anyway, so okay. Europa and Jupiter 2 is the smallest of the four Galilean moons opening in Jupiter. It's the sixth largest of this line of all the known moons of Jupiter, sixth largest moon of the in the solar system. So Europa is in the moon of Jupiter. Now the next one is called Mimas. So Mimas is another is a Disney moon of Saturn one. Which was discovered in 1789 by okay by William Herschel, and it was named after Mimas, the second guy in Greek mythology, the center of uh, small, okay, so a body known as the shape of creation. So that's another moon, but it's a moon of Saturn. And now the next one's called Dione. Now, Dion is another moon of Saturn. It's discovered by Italian astronomer Galileo in 1684. It was named of the in Greek mythology, and it was designated Saturn IV, Wikipedia. Okay, Saturn IV. Okay, so that's um, so that's another moon of Saturn. Well, I'll talk about one moon. It's Triton. So. So there's no so none of so I don't see any moon of Uranus in this list. But um but you can take a look at one. I believe there's a moon I we can talk a little let's just look at one, okay? What about this one? I think there's a but I think there's a moon called Titania. Yeah, Titania. It is one of the largest moons of Uranus. Okay, it's a few of three. It's the largest moons of Uranus in the solar system. Is it? And it's the queen of the Shakespeare of, of Nightmare's Dream. Yeah, and also um, I believe there's also a moon called. I think it's a moon called Moon called Miranda. Yeah, Miranda is another. This is called designated Uranus. Uranus five. It's the smallest and most of Uranus is five round satellites. Discovered by Kronecker, okay, in sixteen and February nineteen eighty eight, and okay, in Magnolia Society in Texas. And after from William Shakespeare, play with Tempest. So that's another. And Miranda is another moon of. Uh, Uranus, okay. So, I know this one showed you. Maybe you want to know that part, okay? So, that's another one. So, here it is. Um, that's what Marinda looks like. And now, if you want to look at Titania. That's what Titania looks like as well. That's what Titania, that's what, and that's what Titania looks like. So, um, so those are the different kinds of moons that we have in our solar system. And there's probably just, I know there's many more, but now all these moons were created on day four of the creation week, and they're all about, uh, I think about probably about six thousand to seven thousand years old. And they're created by God, so because evolution is false, that's why. But when evolution is a damn souls to hell, and the point of other things is a damn souls to hell. Sorry about that. Okay. 
So, um, when we have so many moons on our stores, why why does it have so many moons? Well, I don't know. But they're I think they're created by God. Yeah. Jupiter has um Yeah, there's a lot of moons. And you can think about many more. Later on. So Here. So the only great heavens we follow, Lord Jesus Christ. Salvation is by faith alone, grace alone, Jesus Christ alone. And once you say that he's based on truth, and you can't lose yourself. He's based on truth, so he's used to believe in Jesus Christ for salvation. And I'm going to tell you the next video is um, what's the best thing about terrestrial planets. I'll talk about that next video. Okay, okay, let's go right now. So thank you for watching this video. Just bye.